People keep asking whether AI video generators like Sora 2, VO 3.1, and the new Real Motion 2.6 Remix are actually usable yet, or if they are still just impressive demos. So instead of guessing, I decided to test them properly by pushing each model into real situations where most AI video tools usually fall apart. For this video, I am using Degen AI because it gives access to multiple top tier video and image models inside one workspace. No wait lists, no watermarks, and no switching platforms. That makes it possible to compare these models fairly without changing variables. I start by putting Sora 2 and VO 3.1 head to head using both text to video and image to video, focusing on realism, camera intent, and scene coherence. After that, I bring in Real Motion 2.6 Remix and test it where it is designed to excel, which is image to video with complex motion like dance, sports, and dynamic body interactions. These are the kinds of scenarios that usually expose whether a model actually understands movement and physics or just generates something that looks good for a second. Let us start with the first test, which focuses on dialogue and environment realism. This is usually where AI video either feels natural or immediately breaks the illusion. For this test, I switch to text to video and use the same prompt across both models. The scene is a woman walking through a crowded downtown street in the late afternoon. She is holding her phone at arm's length like a casual vlog, speaking directly to the camera while people pass behind her. There is distant traffic noise, footsteps, light wind, and natural handheld motion. So I wanted to quickly update you guys while I'm walking through the city. The vibe out here right now is just incredible. I hope you can see the sunset. With VO 3.1, the first thing I noticed was the audio realism. So I wanted to quickly update you guys while I'm walking through the city. The vibe out here right now is just incredible. I hope you can see the sunset. You can hear footsteps, distant traffic, and her voice reacting naturally to the environment. Natural facial expressions and no morphing regardless of a large crowd. The camera movement feels stable and intentional. Very close to something you would see in a real lifestyle vlog. Running the same prompt with Sora 2. Okay, so I'm leaving work a little earlier than usual, which feels like a holiday gift in itself. The light is perfect right now. Kind of that syrupy golden color, so I thought I'd just walk and talk. I promised myself I'd check out- The visual quality immediately stands out. Okay, so I'm leaving work a little earlier than usual, which feels like a holiday gift in itself. The light is perfect right now. Kind of that syrupy golden color, so I thought- The video looks very clean and sharp, and the overall scene feels polished. However, it did not follow the prompt closely since I mentioned a crowded street with people passing behind her. Compared side by side, VO 3.1 feels stronger in audio realism and the prompt coherence is good, while Sora 2 clearly delivers cleaner visuals. Now let us move to the second test, which focuses on multi-shot conversation and camera logic. The prompt here is two people seated across from each other in a casual studio setup discussing a recent sports event. The prompt includes wide shots, over-the-shoulder angles, and close-ups, with microphones visible and voices reacting naturally. Starting again with VO 3.1. I'm telling you, the defense in the fourth quarter was absolutely unacceptable. They wow. just let them walk right through. Unacceptable? Come on, you saw the replays. That was a fluke play. They are still the strongest team in the league. <laughs> the camera switches feel intentional and stay focused on whoever is speaking. The audio for each speaker is clear and easy to follow, and the overall quality is very impressive. The only odd detail is that the microphone for the second person looks like it is floating slightly in space, but honestly, I still like the shot. I'm telling you, the defense in the fourth quarter was absolutely unacceptable. They just let them walk right through. Unacceptable? Come on, you saw the replays. That was a fluke play. They are still the strongest team in the league. <laughs> this level of realism really matters if you are creating podcast or interview style content running the same prompt in Sora 2. And they caught fire in the fourth, and suddenly the whole arena felt different. It flipped ten minutes so left, fast. Ten minutes left, they were down by 12, and then Boom. three straight threes. And, and that steal by Harris, I've watched it like five times He knew times exactly already. where that pass was going. <laughs> yeah. The visuals are strong again, but the timing between camera changes and dialogue feels a bit less natural. There is also more background noise caused by overlapping dialogue. In this scenario, Veo 3.1 clearly takes the lead due to better continuity and more consistent audio behavior. I also wanted to test something more subtle, where camera intent and focus control matter more than dialogue or sound. For this test, the prompt starts with a wide shot centered on the man's back, with the camera placed at table height and shallow depth of field. The man is in focus first. The camera then slowly pushes forward while shifting focus to the woman's face as she leans in and quietly speaks to him. The motion relies on a smooth cinematic zoom, natural focus pull, warm lighting, 
and a restrained, intimate mood. Don't overspend. We haven't paid rent yet. With VO 3.1, the focus pull feels deliberate and cinematic. The camera movement and attention shift make it very clear where the viewer is supposed to look. It starts focused on the man, then smoothly transitions to the woman as she leans toward him to speak. I am not sure why it gave the scene an Indian-style setting, but overall, the result is top-notch, even though she did not fully whisper as described in the prompt. Don't overspend. We haven't paid rent yet. Sora 2 delivers a very clean-looking result, but the focus change feels less intentional. The camera stays focused on the woman throughout, and she does not lean toward the man at all. While the video quality is excellent, VO 3.1 takes the point here because it follows the camera intent and focus transition more accurately, which is crucial for visual storytelling. Later on, I tested their image to video capabilities using a few focused scenarios to see how well each model handles, camera reveals, focus shifts, and scale. The first image to video test starts from an extreme close-up image of a motorcycle tire on wet asphalt. You can clearly see the water droplets on the rubber, the road texture, and the reflections from the surface. The motion prompt asks the camera to start tightly focused on the tire, then pull back smoothly to reveal the biker racing at speed on a rain-soaked road with subtle background motion blur and realistic pacing. With Veo 3.1, the reveal feels very intentional. The focus holds on the tire at the beginning, then the camera pulls back in a controlled way, clearly revealing the biker and the wider scene. The reflections on the road and the sense of speed come through naturally, and the camera movement feels cinematic, almost like a proper tracking shot. Now looking at the result from Sora 2, things feel a bit less clear. The reveal is not as controlled. The focus shift happens slower than expected, and after a short distance, the biker diverts from the road, which makes the scene confusing. While the overall video quality is still excellent, VO 3.1 handles the camera intent and gradual reveal much more effectively in this scenario, especially when it comes to realistic motion and tracking. The next test focuses on emotion and scale. The image here is a medium shot of a powerful warrior in detailed armor, with his face filling most of the frame. Sweat and dirt are visible on his skin, paired with dramatic lighting and a dark, smoky background. The motion prompt asks the camera to start locked on his face, then slowly zoom out as he raises his sword, expanding the scene to reveal a much larger environment with atmosphere and scale. We claim victory today! Hoorah! With VO 3.1, the camera expansion feels cinematic and intentional. The slow zoom out clearly communicates scale, and the lighting shift helps sell the emotional weight of the moment. The scene grows naturally without feeling rushed, and the camera movement remains controlled from start to finish. Sora 2 was unable to generate this video due to strict content restrictions, even after multiple prompt adjustments. Beyond that, Sora 2 currently does not support image-to-video generation using realistic human figures, which makes this type of test difficult to execute on the model. Because of that, VO 3.1 clearly wins this scenario. It not only executes the prompt successfully, but also demonstrates strong cinematic judgment, controlled camera movement, and effective emotional storytelling. At this point, it is clear that both models are very capable for text-to-video and image-to-video generation. VO 3.1 consistently stands out for cinematic coherence, focus control, camera intent, and audio realism. Sora 2, on the other hand, shines with clean and high-definition output, delivering visually polished videos even when motion control and focus transitions are more limited. Now, let us talk about Real Motion 2.6 Remix. This engine is designed specifically for image-to-video and complex motion, so I tested it with scenarios that usually break AI models when physics and body movement are involved. The first test is a skateboard sequence. Starting from a single image of a skateboarder approaching a concrete stair rail, 
I asked for a clean pop onto the rail, balanced sliding, a smooth landing, and a natural ride away. The result is surprisingly realistic. The posture, timing, and landing feel grounded in real physics, which is something most text-to-video models still struggle with. There is some repetitive action in the sequence and a slight lag between the movement and the sound, but in terms of physical accuracy and motion fidelity, Real Motion 2.6 handles this scenario very confidently. I then pushed it further with dance movement. Using an image of a dancer on an open stage, I tested a smooth contemporary dance sequence with controlled footwork, natural arm flow, and realistic weight shifts. The movement feels intentional and fluid, without breaking midway or collapsing into unnatural motion. That said, it still struggles to match ambient sounds precisely with the on-screen actions. The next test focused on ballet-style motion. Starting from an image of a ballerina in a studio, I asked for multiple controlled spins, clean pivots, and a graceful stop. The spins feel continuous, the balance makes sense, and the animation remains stable throughout. There is also a natural reflection visible in the mirror, which was not part of the prompt but adds to the realism and brings the physics to life. This level of motion fidelity is extremely difficult for most AI video tools to achieve. Finally, I tested a sports movement scenario. Starting from an image of an athlete mid-stride, I prompted acceleration, a quick directional change, and a controlled stop. Real Motion 2.6 handles momentum and balance extremely well, which shows that it is not just animating movement, but actually simulating believable physics. One important thing to point out is that every image used in these tests was generated directly inside Degen AI. The platform does not only provide video models, but also gives you access to multiple advanced image models in the same workspace, including Nano Banana Pro, GPT Image, Sora Image, Flux 2, and more. This makes it easy to generate a character, refine the look, and then animate it without leaving the platform. Right now, Degen is also running limited holiday discounts that end on December 31st. You can get 50% off the Ultra, Pro, or Max annual plans, and there is a 60% discount on the Sora 2 Plus Nano Banana Pro Infinite plan, which includes early access benefits. To wrap this up, here is the honest takeaway. Veo 3.1 is excellent for both text-to-video and image-to-video generation, cinematic framing, and audio realism. Sora 2 delivers clean, high-definition videos with strong visual quality and dynamic results. Real Motion 2.6 Remix is unmatched when it comes to complex motion, dance, sports, and realistic physics using image-to-video. Having all of these models inside one platform like Digin AI means you are never forcing one tool to do everything. You simply choose the right engine for the job. If this breakdown helped you, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below which model impressed you the most. I read the comments and often use them to decide what to test next. You will find the link and discount details in the description if you want to try everything yourself. I will see you in the next one.